Home is where the heart is. And it's also where all your stuff is. But don't worry, we've got some organization hacks that will keep you sane whenever you're home sweet home. Time for lunch already, is it? Man, I've got to clean up all this Tupperware that's piling up in the sink. I wish these things were dishwasher safe so I could just pop them in there and be done with it. Alright, time to put this sucker back in the cabinet. Yikes, that sure is a mess in there. Yeah, there we go! Now, I'll just wait until my lunch is ready. What was that? Hey, what's going on? Plastic avalanche! Well, that's what you get for mindlessly stuffing all your containers in there. I wonder if there's a better way to store this stuff. And I think I have a brilliant solution. Have a metal slinky lying around? Then why not use it as a Tupperware organizer? Simply hot glue it to a hard surface like this Lazy Susan. Now you can stand up your plastic lids in it without worrying about them toppling over all the time. Pretty nifty, right? Man, I wish I would have thought of this sooner. Ooh, nothing like a good hot shower to start the day. Uh-oh, looks like Sophia's getting a call. Oh no, how do I answer the phone from in here? It's Vicky, probably calling to tell me about her hot date last night. Gah, my hand's too wet to click. Hello? And my phone's broken. Great. Next time you want to chat in the shower, try this hack. Put your phone face down over this piece of plastic and outline it with a marker, leaving some space around it. Now cut where you drew the lines. Now take an even bigger piece of plastic and glue down the rectangle you just cut onto it. Hot glue works best for this. Once the glue's on, turn it over and press down the edges. Be sure to leave the top of the rectangle unglued. Well, look at that! It's a little waterproof pocket for your phone. Heck, you could even stick your iPad in there for crying out loud. Now you can watch shows and chat with your buddies in the shower. Just make sure it's off camera mode. Gotta love some entertainment. Yes! Vicky called me back! Okay, tell me about your date and start from the very beginning. Yes! It's finally time for movie night at Kevin's house! Yikes, looks like Justin already blew through his bowl of candy. Time for a refill! Ugh, climbing over people during a movie is always so awkward. And then before you know it, you're back to doing the awkward side shuffle again. Hey, watch the new sneakers, Justin! Okay, back to the robots taking over the city. Uh-oh, looks like we're out again. Ugh, why does this keep happening? I've gotta stop eating so fast! Looks like Justin's not the only person in need of a refill. Hold on, buddy. Just let Sophia get it. She's on the end. Aw oh, man, why am I getting stuck with that? Actually, this gets me thinking. Hold tight, I'll be right back. Have an empty bottle like this one? After you cut it up into three parts just like this, you can transform it into something new. With scissors, cut two longer pieces from the bottom up, stopping at the middle. Once you've done that, slide them into one another like this. Next, bring out a tall, round vase like this one here. Stand it upright and put in the paper pieces you just constructed. Now pour in your favorite candy and let it fall into the different sections. Fill each section with different kinds of your favorite candies. Oh, and remember the lid you cut off? Pop it right on top for easy dispensing. Okay boys, the candy man has delivered. Pretty impressive, right? Now instead of getting up when you need a refill, you can just dispense some out without ever leaving your seat. Be sure the lid's on tight and pour to your heart's content. Hey there. Don't forget to share with your friends, Justin! After a couple days of procrastinating, you finally buckled down and did the dishes. Job well done, sir! But just because your dishes are clean doesn't mean your job is done. See what I mean? Oh man, how am I gonna clean all this gunk up? I guess I can try to splash it all off with water. Um, not sure that splashing method's gonna work, Justin. 
you're gonna need to use a little more elbow grease than that. No! I don't need my face clean, just the sink! Who knew I'd need a pair of goggles to clean this thing? There's gotta be a better way to get all this junk off my sink. Oh my gosh! You're so sweet to call and wish me happy birthday! Sorry, birthday girl, but I'm just gonna borrow one of your balloons real quick. Don't worry, nothing to see here. Uh-huh, yeah! I'm heading out the door right now. Yes, she didn't even notice. Let's get this cleaning party started, shall we? For this cleaning hack, put a deflated balloon over the sink's faucet like this. Then cut a small slit at the tip of the balloon. Once you turn the water on, you'll have a makeshift removable faucet head. See? Now you can actually control where the water goes. Finally, you can get rid of those crusty stains and splatters. Oh, hey Sophia! Hi! Oh man, this marker leaked all over my stuff! Looks like I'll need to borrow some paper for my next class. You ruined your notebook? Oh, don't worry. I'll show you how to fix that. I'm pretty crafty myself, see? Well, perhaps Sophia can offer up some of her creative tips to Justin. Or not. Wait a second. I know exactly how to prevent this problem from happening again. Use an old paper box to make your own in-locker pen holder. Once you cut it in half and on a slant like this, you can cover it with your favorite paper. Pretty easy way to solve a complicated problem, right? But before you're done, attach little magnets to the back so that it'll hang up in your locker. And the best way to do that is with some hot glue. Perfect. Now your pens are far away from any of your stuff. It's morning time. Which means we're cooking some eggs. And Justin loves his over easy. Ooh, don't forget to add a little salt for flavor. That oughta do it. Now I just need the right cooking utensil to flip this thing over. Whoa, how on earth do you ever find anything in here, Justin? With such a mess, you'll never get what you need in time. Aha! Uh -huh. Will this cake cutter work? We can try, right? My eggs! Yikes. Those are a little overdone, don't you think? Now I have to start all over again. Hey, what's in the trash? I better put that down and see what's going on in there. Well, now I see why someone threw this away. But maybe I can make new use of it. Give an old binder new purpose with this clever hack. All you need is the metal three-ring strip. Using a hot glue gun, squeeze out the glue down the length of the back of the strip. Now snag it before the glue dries. Pick any cabinet door you like and stick it right onto the inside of it. Leave the three rings open so you can hang your cooking utensils on them, from spatulas to whisks and more! It sure feels good to think outside the box. Or rather, drawer, doesn't it? Nice finishing touch, Justin. Did you find these home organizing hacks useful? Then send this video to your other fellow neat freaks. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to 123Go's YouTube channel for more helpful videos just like this one.